last time on Doki Doki Tropical Rain. And we're here. Wherever this is. Ooh la la. Okay. Just a um, normal fast food joint. What does it taste like? Hmm. Oh, the wine? I nodded. Is it good? She nodded enthusiastically. I actually really enjoyed it. Natsuki walked up to her table and set down a check. I picked it up and read it over. Uh, 30% off? I looked up at her. What's that about? She turned bashful. Yeah, since you guys are my friends, I give you a bit of a discount. Don't make such a big deal out of it, okay? And don't even think about telling your other friends, b b baka I put my hands up. Whoa, hey. I won't tell anybody. <laughs> Instantly hit by the blinding sun. Ah, dang it. Does Natsuki have tinted windows or something? Why did I think it was nighttime? I pulled out my phone. 1533. Well, I guess that's 533. Glob, dang it. Well, my sense of time was just completely thrown off. Did you also think it was nighttime? Yuri asked and made an audible noise of discomfort. Read my mind, babe. Let's just head back home. Sure. But do you mind if we take the long way? I turned to her and raised an eyebrow. Long way? Through the park. Is that on our way? She nodded. I can show you how to get there from here. It's really just taking the scenic route. It can hardly be considered a long way. I believe you. I smiled. Let's go then. I nodded my head forward. Wonderful. She smiled and took the lead. Once again. But I think I'm getting, I'm starting to get used to it. Uh, whoa. Park looking good in daytime. Not just at the night, but still. Like the, uh, the Sakura trees around. Looks nice. And we're back. And as I breathed in the park air, that feeling came back. It was different from last time. The vibe of the nighttime is very different from the vibe of daytime. But the feeling was still there. That feeling of relaxation. The feeling of the struggles falling away. Granted, there weren't many that had made themselves known. But I finally felt like me and Yuri were on a date we wanted to be on. No food. No fighting about payments. No Natsuki. No Lurcher Club. Uh, no Monica. Just me and Yuri. My Yuri. The girl of my dreams. The girl that I... The girl that I love. In this mod, I felt my heart skip a beat. Do I really? Do I love her? I turned my head to look at her. Uh, beautiful. Ah, yeah. It's true, huh? I'm... Dang it, why do I keep stuttering in my own head? I'm in love with Yuri. There. I let out a breath I didn't know I was holding. That wasn't so bad. If anything, I'm relieved. Just relax, relax. Uh... Now the only question is... Do I tell her? Well, of course I do. I had two one of these days. But when? Well, how soon is too soon? Obviously, now is too soon. It's been, what, two weeks? We had one date. I'm thinking way too far ahead. But if there's one thing I'm pretty damn sure on, it's that I'm not jumping ahead in my assessment of love. Love is a fickle thing. And I think I have loved Yuri, well, probably since the day before the festival, when she came over to visit. When we spent all that time together, I just felt a connection. And subconsciously, I knew. And I acted on it. I went out of my way to comfort her, to worry about her. Even when I was supposed to be having a good day, I couldn't ignore her. She was always in the back of my mind. I think 
I think I've always wanted her to be mine. And I'm really glad I did. Hmm. I turn to Yuri. Even if, along the way, there are some roadblocks, hiccups, I really couldn't be happier with this destination. Uh... Hey, Yuri? Yes? My mouth felt dry. Nothing. It's stupid. Um... Alright then. Dang it. Come on, Finn. I groaned as I flung open the door. Home sweet home. Blah, my back is killing me. I muttered and walked inside. Not just my back, but also my legs and feet. Would you like me to take a look at it? Yuri asked. I shook my head. Nah, it's just a cramp. I'll be fine. I walked into the kitchen and pulled open the fridge. I don't know why I did. Maybe I just wanted to check if the ham had been stolen. <laughs> what? Nope. Still there. In all its meaty glory. Dinner is probably gonna be around 18 o'clock or 6 o'clock. It's gonna take a little bit to cook. I grabbed it and removed it from the fridge. I closed it with my backside and turned to face Yuri. So if you want, you can either stay here or go back to your place until it's nearly ready. I said even though I knew exactly what her answer was gonna be. What? Why would I leave? I turned away and decided to mess her a little more. Does you hate spending time with me? She gasped. Th that's not true. She came up behind me and wrapped me in the hug. You know I love to spend time with you. You're one of my favorite people to be around. Uh... Am I cooler than books? Pushing it. I chuckled and she giggled. Yet kissed me on the head. My cheeks flushed and she pulled away. I'll be out in the living room. If you need me, that's where I'll be. I nodded and Yuri walked out of the kitchen. Okay, let's see here. Preheat oven to... And... One more... Finally two... And we're good. The ham is in the oven and it's cooking nicely. I put the hand towel back on the rack and uh, walked out into the living room. The television was off. Reason being, Yuri was reading a book. Probably didn't want the distraction. I sat down on the couch next to her. Mind if I ask what you're reading? She smiled, seemingly glad I asked the question. I'm always happy to share what I'm reading. So this book is called The Collector and it's about a... Uh... As Yuri began to tell me about her book, I listened intently. And I was happy to do so. I had some time to kill after all. Time sure flies by quick when you're listening to your girlfriend talk about her favorite thing. I set a plate down on the table, that of which held many slices of a carved ham. Ooh la la, I love me some good old ham. Yeah, I carved my own ham. I know, I rule. <laughs> nice. I sat down and looked across the table. Do you say grace? As she shook her head. No. Do you? I shook my head. Well then. Well then, let's eat. It, it is what that means. Of course. Yuri grabbed a piece of ham and I grabbed one as well. Oh boy, this looks, actually, this actually looks pretty good. I served myself some mashed potatoes and took a sip of my water. Let's do this. But first, I stared intently at Yuri as she cut through her piece of ham. With a prized del delicacy, I might I add. She did say she liked knives, but that's not important. Yuri brought the fork to her mouth. Uh, but stop right before. Is there something on my face? Uh, what? I snapped back. Oh no! I, I just want to see if you enjoyed it or not. That's all. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll be great. She stuck the piece of food in her mouth. Uh. And I was right. Oh, thank Glob. This is really good, Finn. Glad to hear it. I spent a lot of time on it, so I'm glad it's not gonna go to waste. 
She nodded. We can understand that, but you have nothing to worry about. She took another bite. I'm not sure if any of it is going to go to waste. I laughed. Me and Yuri continued to enjoy the dinner I had cooked. But it happened again. Yuri ate more food than I did. And then, a few minutes after dinner, I'll be right back. She went to the bathroom. Now, going to the bathroom is a normal thing. And maybe I'm overthinking it. But last time I walked by her after dinner bathroom visits, she was puking into the toilet. And it made me scared. This made me scared. If she does have a stomach issue, I should know about it. I'll take the proper precautions. I'll make lighter meals. Even if I'll have to cook two dinners, I'll do it. But I... I closed my eyes and sighed. Uh... Yuri is not going to tell me anything. Well, I'm sure she'll tell you anything as long as she's going to slowly warm up to you. I need to eventually approach her about it. Not today. It's Christmas. I can do it today. Yeah, why not just do it another time? I can't ruin this holiday with my mad rantings. If Yuri is completely fine, I made a big deal out of nothing. But if she isn't, then I most likely just ruined the holiday by bringing up something she's self-conscious about. It's a lose-lose, so might as well... Hey, hon. I snap out of it. Oh, yeah? Do you think I could have the recipe for that ham? I really liked it. Oh, sure. It's not too complicated, so I could send it to you over a text. Lovely. Yuri walked away and into the living room. For now, I might as well play it safe and natural. Of course, just take things nice and slow. Chapter 6, Rosy Complexion. Alright. It's been a little under two months since I've started dating Yuri. February, the season of loving. Ironic, even I'm yet to tell the love of my life how I actually feel about her. Yet to even kiss her. Why can't I just man the heck up and do it? Seriously. Glob, I felt like a fool. Monica said she loved you a billion times and not once did you say it back. But that was because it didn't feel right. This time, it does feel right. It feels like the next proper step I should be taking. The thing your heart tells you to do. So why? Why couldn't I just do it? Well, just listen to your heart, dude. It was three words. Maybe even just an action. I was so close to both doing both on Christmas. I nearly had the balls. But no, I chickened out. Bob, you're such a loser. <laughs> Not this time. Can't even tell your girlfriend you love her. What can you do in life if not that? Too scared to tell your girlfriend about your feelings. Are you gonna be too scared to tell the cops if she gets killed? Ugh. Hm. I sat up in bed and ran a hand through my hair. Getting a little dark, bud. Uh. I sighed. I need a drink. I moved the blanket off my body and slunk out of the cold, heavy embrace of my blanket. I opened my door and walked out into the halls. Dang, it's so dark out here. Wish I had turned on the lights. Oh well, too late now. <laughs> Lazy ass. Though I, when I arrived in the kitchen, it was too dark to see at all. I flipped on the n the wait what? I flipped on the nights, was it supposed to be lights, and held up my hand, fruitlessly trying to block out the light. Trying to block out this assault on my cornea. I slowly blinked away from the fuzziness and walked over to the counter. I opened up my mother's wine fridge. Uh, I slowly closed it. Forget that. I walked over to my fridge. Filling it open, I checked my inventory. Deli meat. Lettuce, oh, I'm out of ketchup. Water, mug root beer, juice. I grabbed the juice box. You're 17, Finn. This is better for you than alcohol. I'm 17 in this mod? What? Alright. 
And heck, these taste better too. Ah, no straw though. And this was the last one. Shoot. I grab a knife from the drawer and poke a hole on the top. Tiredly and stupidly, I might add, I decided to be cool and quickly stab the top. Like a ninja. Only problem. Ow! Oh, son of a bitch. I dropped the knife in the juice, which subsequently spilled it all over the place. But whatever. I cut my dang hand. Taking a deep breath, I surveyed the damages. It sliced through my palm. Look, I get it that you're tired and all, but still, how the heck did it get sliced through your palm? It wasn't that deep, and it probably didn't need stitches. But I still felt like an idiot. I needed to disinfect it, though. Time to take the smart approach for this for once in this. Night of this night of stupidity. I opened up the blanket under my sink and pulled out the first aid kit. I probably need more than a band-aid. A bandage seemed more fitting. Some will probably be concerned, but I can tell them I cut my hand on a piece of glass or something. I opened the case and grabbed the peroxide. After carefully dabbing it, violently pouring it out onto my hand over the sink, I reached for the bandages. Uh, where are the bandages? I searched through the box, high and low, low and high, anterior and posterior. But they were gone. Uh oh, looks like Yuri forgot to replace them because of course she just caught herself from, I think, two or three episodes before. I flipped the box over. Contents: A 5mm bottle of hydrogen peroxide, 25 band-aids, individual, package of baby wipes, roll of go, 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 ga gaze, goes, bandaging, oh, there it is, roll of goes, bandaging, gaze, goes, I, I, again, I forgot how to say that, so where the heck is it, did I use all of it, that can be the case, I never use bandages, Oopsie poopsies, Yuri. And especially not these ones. Usually, if I need a medical kit, I use the one in my personal bathroom. This is so weird. Maybe I injured myself in the kitchen? No, that can't be it. I would remember if it was bad enough to need bandages. The only other person that could have used them is Sayori. Or Yuri. It's Yuri. Definitely not Sayori for obvious reasons. Sayori is quite clumsy, but she's also a crier. I would have put the bandages on her myself. <laughs> so that just leaves Yuri. Yuri, Yuri. Did she get hurt and not tell me? She doesn't have to, of course. But if the band but if the injury required bandages, especially my bandages, I feel like it would be important to mention exactly she did this. I'm not mad at her or anything, I was, but I hope she's okay. Maybe I should give her a call. Just to ward off my worry. As I thought this, I had looked over at the clock. 2 o'clock AM. Heck no. She's definitely sleeping. I don't want to wake her up, especially over something as menial as some bandages. It's probably me being an idiot in the kitchen or something. Ugh. I ran my I ran a hand through my hair for the second time that night. I was pretty dang tired. I should get back to bed. I put my hand up to my nose and massaged it, but upon getting blood all over my nose, I remembered why I couldn't go to bed just yet. My hand was bleeding all over the place. But so late. Patch yourself up, dude. Don't go to bed. It's so late. Once again, I'm staying up until the late hours of the night. Just thinking about him. But I can't do it anymore. I can't. I can't. Oh, Monica. I can't. Her grades were slipping. Her friends were leaving her behind. And she couldn't do it anymore. She wanted her life back. She wanted closure. She wanted to end this chapter. He had gone too far. She needed to talk to him. I need to grow a spine. I can't chicken out here. I was able to say I loved him. 
So now... She wiped her eyes. I need to go and figure out how not to. Uh... You can do this, Monica. Uh... She grabbed a bottle of Advil. What a killer headache. She took two and slowly crawled into bed. You can do this. I woke up in the morning feeling rather refreshed. I'm not sure why, given my hand hurt like heck when I was tired, but I was refreshed nonetheless. I tossed my blankets off and stretched my arms above my head. Hmm, today was gonna be a good day. I don't know why again, but I felt really good. This day was putting me in a good mood already. I'm gonna see Yuri. I'm gonna hold her hand, I'm gonna love her. Man, I got lucky. Well, today's a lucky day, my dude, because maybe we're gonna go to another date, to another location, perhaps. A couple months ago, I was a friendless loser that was obsessed with anime. Now I ha actually have friends, I've got a girlfriend, I, and I pretty much, pretty much just gained a real life. A life worth caring about. A life worth living. Frankly, a pretty dang good life, and I'm happy. I smiled, texted Yuri, good morning, and crawled out of bed. I hopped in the shower, hopped out, and combed my hair. That's also a pretty new thing. Just one of my many changes for the better. I chuckled to myself. Uh, but then I stared at myself in the mirror. Stared at my hair, my looks. Dang. I give the mirror finger guns. I'm looking good. I brushed my teeth and shortly after walked out of my bathroom. I threw on my deodorant, my uniform, and my shoes. I grabbed my breakfast from the kitchen and walked out of my house and out into the sun. Wow, it's really a nice day today. Just another thing to improve my mood. You seem to be in a good mood. Oh, hey Sayori, and why are you still wearing the uh, the blue bow I gave you? Not gonna lie, even though the red is iconic to ya, the blue one really suits you. Especially your beautiful sky blue eyes. <laughs> uh, wait a minute, why am I simping for her in this month since I'm in love with Yuri? But still, y you know me guys, I still love Sayori, but still... Caught off guard, I jumped slightly. Sayori giggled at this. I got you, huh? I shook my head and smiled. Yes, yes you did. And I notice you're wearing the bow I got you. Well, of course I am. It was a gift. I wear it. I wear it. Good, good. I put a hand up. Let's save the sappiness for a forest though, huh? She made a face. A forest? Sap? Trees? Oh, sorry. Sometimes it takes a second. <laughs> ah, sap. Saplings. I chuckled and rubbed her head. That's okay, Sayori. Now let's go. Gonna be late. Sounds good. My short conversation with Sayori left me feeling... Then. Even with all that's changed, it's nice to know we could still be ourselves. We could still be friends. We can still be friends. I'm not gonna sing because of copyright, obviously. <laughs> I waved goodbye to Sayori and began to walk to my class. Aside from that, DMCA as well. Ugh, first period. History. It's not hard, but man, can it be boring? Something grabbed me and pulled me into a nearby room. What? They shut the door and stood me up straight. Shocked, I didn't exactly formulate any thoughts. The heck just happened? I blinked and turned to face who had dragged me in here. Uh, oh, hello, Monica. Um, I assume you dragged me in here just because you wanted to talk to me of what happened in the past few months last year and all that. Oh, yeah, because of course we, um, Oh my glob, we hurt her. All right, let's see how this goes. Monica? Monica? Hey, Finn. It's good to see you. 
It's good to see you too. Well, this is awkward. I think this is the first time I've been alone with her in months. We saw each other in the club, yeah. But all the girls were there to ward off the awkwardness. Though now I'm on my own. I scratched my neck. She clearly wants to talk about something. You don't really drag a guy into an empty classroom just to say hi. What do you need? I asked, wanting to get a head start. I don't like this situation. I wanted it to end, and I hope it does soon. But I... I think I already know what she wants to talk about. Well, I... Oh, look. Uh, I brought you in here because, well... Uh, go on. I motioned my hand in a circle. Why did you call me here? I knew. Look, I... I knew, I knew. Sorry. She sighed. I knew, I knew, I knew. I love you, Finn. I still love you. I winced. I knew. I glove. Freaking damn it, I knew. But it still got me. Off. I ran my hand through my hair. Of course you do. But Monica, I... I love... I know you do. And I'm okay with that. But I... I need closure. She hesitated. And then she grabbed my collar and slammed me into the wall. Ugh. Look me in the eyes, Finn. She str I, str I struggled against her grip. Monica, this... I grabbed her arm, but her grip held true. This isn't like you. She looked down. I don't care. Her voice cracked. She cared. Just... Tell me the reasons. Reasons for what? I need you to look at me in the eyes. I look. I looked at her in the eyes. Good. Now, tell me the reasons. Tell me the reasons you. Tell me the reasons you love Yuri. Uh. What? What? Nani kore? Monica, how is that going to give you closure? She slammed me into the wall again. Just do it. You. She let go of me. I rubbed my neck and she sniffled. You fake being in love with someone else. I need to make sure you're not doing it again. Uh, aw, please don't give me that face, Monica. And once again, because of Monica, I felt an iron rod is being shoved into my heart. Well, I... Please, just... I'm sorry I got rough with you. But I need you to do this for me. I sighed. I... I love her interests. I love the way her eyes light up when she's happy or excited. I love how she can talk on and on about something if she's passionate about it. I continued to list more and more things, all varying. Whether it be my love for her hair or my love for something as basic as the way she walks. I listed it. I could feel Monica slowly getting more and more hurt though, which is why I eventually trailed off. I couldn't keep doing this to her. It was just making her feel worse, and I felt she knew too. I I want you and Yuri to be happy, really. You guys are my friends, and I want to be able to keep saying that, so please just forget about me, okay? I know that the entire point of this conversation was for me to forget, but I think, I think hearing you say that you'll forget about me is the push I really need. I need to know that we don't have any any kind of chance. So, how about it? Uh, she's delusional. She, she's been dealing with this on her own for how long by now? Why would me saying anything about uh, say, saying anything make any sort of difference? She could see it herself. Me saying I'll forget her will no will do no good. Of course, but again, conflicted and such. I don't know how all of this works, but we'll just stay friends, like I said, and I'm definitely gonna stop saying that. Especially because we're still in the same club together. It's impossible to forget Monica. So I'm gonna be selfish here for what's probably the 18th time now. No. 
Monica, I won't forget you. I, I won't forget what we had. She looked down again. Uh, Monica? Uh, why? Why don't you want to forget it? Because I... I need to watch my words here. Because I like the time we spent together. And your method. Your method of telling... Your method of me just telling you I'll forget you. That won't work. Because even if I wanted to, I couldn't. You're... Really special, Monica. Stop making fun of me. I'm not making fun of you. Yes, you are. I know you are. Your compliments, your remarks, are all fake. You don't love me. You don't think I'm special. I don't love you. She winced. But I... I still like you. As a friend. Just not the way that you like me. And I... I understand you being hung up on me like this. I'm sorry, okay? What for? For... For everything. For leading you on. For abandoning you. For making you waste your time. And for... For practically disregarding you as soon as I could. That's messed up, Monica. And I'm sorry. I wipe my own eyes. I'm an idiot for not considering how you would have felt about everything. I'm an idiot for not checking up on you. I'm just a fucking idiot, okay? I'm an idiot! I slammed my hand onto a nearby desk. I breathed heavily. Yes, you are. She hugged me. This is platonic, okay? I calmed down slightly. Thank you for apologizing. But it's okay. You were just following your heart. You were unhappy with me, so you got some who well, got with someone that made you happy. I can't fault you for that. She chuckled. Obviously, I wish it could have been a smoother transition. Sadly, though, I'm too hung up. So, can you say it? Just one more time? Say what? That you're not... Monica, I'm not in love with you. I'm in love with Yuri. I took a deep breath and held tighter. She pulled back and smiled. It's not going to be easy. It never is, and was never supposed to be. Um, I'm going to move on. I just... just needed a little push to do it. So thanks. She chuckled to herself. Then she wiped her eyes. Just give me more time, okay? I promise I won't do something like this again. Hey. I put my hand on her shoulder and stared into her green orbs. Her green eyes, not her... Obviously. There's no time limit, alright? I know I shouldn't be giving the advice here, given it's my fault you're experiencing all of this. I rubbed my neck. But we're all here for you, okay? Me, Yuri, Sayori, Natsuki. If you ever need anything, don't hesitate. She slowly nodded. Sounds good. I'll be going now. There's a lot I need to process. Of course. She waved to me and then walked to the door of the classroom. She stopped right before, though, and pulled something out of her pocket. It was something wrapped in plastic. This is the last remaining flower. Flower? From the bouquet you got me. Oh. Oh, oh. From the... Whoa. You held on to that? She nodded, her back still turned to me. She then tossed it in a nearby trash can. I don't need it anymore, though. It ends here. That flower was dying. Just as our tie should be, too. She then left the classroom, letting the door slowly close behind her. Dang. Uh, I put my back to the wall and slowly slunk down. Ugh. Ugh! How could I be so... How could I be so stupid? How could I be such an idiot? Of course she hadn't moved on. Of course she needed closure. She's not like me. She loved me for... What? An entire year? Right? And... Here I am. I get with her because I'm lonely. I date her for three weeks and show her no love. And then I break up with her. 
only to get with another girl within three fucking days. How, how the heck did I expect her to feel? Fine? Did I expect her to just be fine? She felt like shit for weeks. Months, most likely. Probably inconsolably shitty. It's all my fault. Mine. Goes to show how little I really cared. How little I cared about anyone about but myself. Selfish Finn. What else is new? I chuckled darkly. Finn. The guy that joins a lurch club because the girls are cute? How could he ever be selfish? He sounds like a real A-class citizen. Ugh. Clench my fists. Stupid, stupid. Stupid. Fucking. Loser! A loser that only cares about himself. Probably doesn't even care about his current girlfriend either. I wonder what I've been ignoring about Yuri. Maybe. Maybe. Surely I... Her stomach issue. Hmm. How am I going to do with this?